hi guys how are you uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video so I made my own personal swatch to put in my watercolor palette these include the new colors that I got and my older colors so today in this video we're just gonna swatch out the new colors that I received in my last Jackson's art haul so first up we have quinacridone gold hue the pigment information is on my sheet here and we will be checking transparency through the uh, the writing. So Cronacridone Gold Hue has PY150 and PR102. Next up we have Nickel Azo Yellow from Roman Schmall, PY150. I'm gonna be putting these on separate palettes because they are very similar. This is one of my favorite new colors. This is Quinacridone Coral from Daniel Smith. It is so vibrant, you guys. It is stunning. So I'm swatching today on Canson watercolor paper. And I'm just using a really affordable brush today. Quinacridone Coral from Daniel Smith is PR209. Next up we have Potter's Pink from Roman Schmall, PR233. This one is a very granulating pigment, very easy to re-wet. Beautiful colors. Sorry, beautiful color for, um, I would say self or portraits. I'm gonna figure out how do I, I can incorporate it into my own work. Next up we have Conacridone Purple by Roman Schmall, PV55. A very beautiful Conacridone color, very vibrant purple. We will check up on these and see how they dry after we are done swatching. Uh, next up we have Ultramarine Pink by Roman Schmall, PR259. Beautiful, vibrant pink. Sorry, what am I talking about? It's not vibrant. It's, um, it's a low tinting color, but this one is very easy to re-wet. And it's a very unique pink tone. I think it's very essential for a floral palette. Okay, we have a beautiful granulating purple here with Roman Schmall's Manganese Violet, PV16. That's one of my new favorite purples. This one is a PWC uh, opaque because there is white in it. This is lilac. Next up, we have a color separating color from Roman Schmall. This is Misty Morning, PV19 and PG50. Granulating, and it, it tends to show up differently depending on how you paint it. I'll show you a swatch of, a, of it that I've done on uh, wet paper as opposed to doing wet to dry like I'm doing right now uh, The one I just swatched is lavender by Roman Schmall PV16 PW6 and PB29 This beautiful blue that I'm painting right now is called cobalt blue This is the cobalt pigment PB28 Beautiful granulating blue 
Uh, this one right here that I am swatching now is French Ultramarine by Roman Schmoll, PB29. Very vibrant blue. Okay. Next row, we have Cobalt Turquoise by Roman Schmall, PB36. Another beautiful cobalt color. Okay, now we have Daniel Smith's Green Gold, PY150, PY3, and PG36. This is my new favorite green. It has a beautiful texture to it that I was not aware of that it would have until I owned it myself and I swatched it and I realized, oh, there's a texture to it. And I'm really happy with it. Okay, this color is Deep Green Gold by Roman Schmoll, PY129. I'm so excited for you guys to see these next colors here. This is Autumn Green by Roman Schmoll. So this is how it looks with a light layer. And then I'll pack on some more of the pigment for you guys so you guys can see the beautiful granulation and the beautiful effects that this paint has. This is an awesome paint for foliage. It's a very natural looking green. I'm very, very happy with these Roman Schmoll paints. I highly recommend them. Okay, next up is Aquarius Green by Roman Schmoll. I heard that this is uh, compared to Daniel Smith's Undersea Green. So just for curiosity's sake, I decided to purchase Daniel Smith's Undersea Green and we will be swatching it today. I purchased a couple more colors from Daniel Smith. So the new colors that I swatched, so this is the, the new stuff that I got just recently. I needed another earth pigment, so I decided to get raw sienna. I'm very interested in uh, urban landscapes and I needed a very beautiful, glowy, raw sienna. So I'm very happy with the Daniel Smith one. Uh, next up we have Raw Umber by Daniel Smith. This is a beautiful brown. It's a colder brown. It granulates beautifully. I like having different tones of brown for me to use. And then for curiosity's sake, I also got Daniel Smith's Sap Green because I wanted to see how his Sap Green was. So that's Daniel Smith's Sap Green. And now I'm going to be swatching Daniel Smith's Undersea Green. I will uh, list the pigment numbers in the description if uh, you need to, just let me know. Otherwise, I'm hoping you guys can see them written out. Okay, so while we're waiting for those to dry, I'm just going to show you the swatches that I have for my own personal use uh, that I swatch out for my own collection here. So this is my Quinacridone Gold Hue swatch, my Nickel Azo yellow swatch, mm, where's my corals, okay I'll just go through them the way that they are, green gold, lavender, aquarius green, ultramarine pink, sap green by Daniel Smith, Deep Green Gold by Roman Schmoll, Cobalt Turquoise, Raw Sienna, Misty Morning, Lilac, 
lilac, autumn green, manganese violet, French ultramarine, cobalt blue, quin purple, quin coral, potter's pink, and raw umber. Look at that beautiful granulation. Okay, so it cannot have too long of a video, so we'll just bring these closer for us to look at, and then we will call it a day. So I will just go as slowly as I can. Highly recommend these paints, they are beautiful. Look at the autumn green. Just that colors, colors right here, they're really pretty together. Okay, and last but not least, I wanted to show you this really quickly. So these are swatched out, green gold, deep green gold. This one's undersea green. The raw umber, the raw sienna, undersea green, sap, autumn green, look at that. Aquarius, look at the granulation there. And then here's Daniel Smith's undersea green and Aquarius green by Roland Schmal. There's a little bit more of a glowy undertone here. Okay, well, thank you so much, you guys, for clicking on this video. I appreciate you guys coming to visit with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will be doing another art haul soon with some more paint colors that I am choosing. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.